Hey guys, welcome to another fun and exciting iMite GT7 stream. This is the Nations Cup at Monza in the SF Super Formula 2023 cars, I think. Um, 20 laps, you have to use medium and soft. Um, so I'm going with, I think for this, um, 12 laps on medium from the back and then eight laps on soft. That wasn't the original goal. But anyway, very quickly, there's some big names in here. I think I'm in the top split of group two. Um, this is the cream of the cream and you'll see it in the grid start. It's just absolutely horrible. <laughs> I'm just, and there's more. Um, so look, I'm in P6, oh, sorry. So I didn't have time, I started P13 last place so all it did was good old traction control on didn't push it and just kept it on the track while people ghosted around me so from p13 up seven places already um the carnage doesn't end there i actually do get knocked off the track very shortly um it was just absolutely horrible um, I took my daughter out to ballet in the morning so I missed race one this is race two of the day um, so my setup is on my mediums at the moment so I did have two strats one was see there's a bit of no not enough traction control for vanilla ice man so here we go so I thought it was this guy hitting me which it is but it's fried tyres behind, hitting him, bang, he hits me, yeah I thought it was him, but it was uh, fried tyres who's now going in front of me right here, getting a nice sweet two second penalty I think for that, um, yeah so quickly, um, traction control 2, for major stability, um, the active stability management on more people going off all over the place so from p13 up to p6 and back to p8 now i'm going into just dropping back to p9 so yeah it looks like yeah i've got damage that's probably why i'm going a bit slow um yes yeah, so active stability management on um and can of steering on strong um during the week i think my fastest time was without any assists but on the odd occasion I would lose it and it's I'd rather lose 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 of a second a lap with assists on than nothing and just spinning out which a lot of people are doing so back to P10 at the moment so promising start and yeah cold tyres just had to remind myself so I found maybe um, softs would warm up after about a lap and a half and mediums would warm up after about three laps. So um, so that was my setup and then the strategy, I, I tried two strategies during the week. One was um, 10 laps on medium, 10 laps on soft because I worked out the softs are good for about 10 laps nice bit of uh etiquette there from other cars ghosted all over the place this is the to me this is top split of the drb drivers we are up near the top if not at the top um and they're driving like they're c drivers So anyway, um, yeah, so the plan was, well, I practiced 10 laps on medium, 10 laps on soft, and then I tried one lap on medium, nine laps on soft, 10 laps on soft, and the times were within 10 seconds of each other. And I thought the more you pit, the more you've got to overtake people, and uh, it's one thing you don't want to do. So I did think about, well, how about... Um, instead of one medium, nine soft, ten soft, how about maybe four medium, 
so you're not working the soft so hard but the lap times were not that much difference um, I think uh, I think the night before or in the morning I think it was the night before I did a quick run of mediums and then a quick run of softs and the gap wasn't that much I thought it was one and a half seconds I was getting it down to about 0.8 of a second um, so over 10 laps that's 8 seconds well if you pit that's about 16 so I thought I'd probably better off to stay out I don't like doing it because if it's a nightmare you're trapped around some horrible drivers I like to pit early get out of the way and then do a huge catch up but just and especially being um, in P6 at the time on lap 1 I thought well I'm, I've made a lot of ground don't pit now and lose it so not too sure Vanilla Iceman must have got past him uh, with a penalty probably um, back to P9 and chipping away uh, so at the moment I don't know what people are on but I'm assuming that a lot of them are on softs um, with the practice I've been doing I feel like I'm on pace my pace is good and so if people have a, a slight advantage over me I'll assume that they've got softs on um, I had a quick look I think in qualifying um, I'm door number three again um, so that was yeah, a little bit of pressure for me to perform S White Snow White I think his name is and I'm pretty sure I've raced against him previously you know months years ago um, yeah clean driver certain names that you know ring a bell I've mentioned that before and certain names you know you get worried about but this guy seemed alright um, Gingerbread Man was in this race as well I think he's a bit further down the back but doing alright yeah so uh, what lap 5 now and for me there's a point where once you've entered a certain window it's too late to change strategies people going off track they're rejoining that's a beamer key so the two guys up the front um, can't really read his name uh, Kiwi um, Benno I think his name is and P1 they're just pretty fast and they uh, yeah they get away from everyone I've been held up a bit wasn't really looking at my lap times but I think early on I was and uh, a little bit horrified at how poor my lap times were mainly having to deal with people so yeah I keep missing things um, so I'm now in P8 so at the moment the plan would be to go to lap 10 and then hop onto softs and complete 10 laps but I kind of knew that the tyres are good for 8 laps so the last 2 laps are they drop off a touch ah so here's gingerbread man in front of me here in a yellow lego super formula car I've known him for a long time and I like him he just um cops a lot of bad luck I think he's a control pad racer just very mindful not to hit him then I've got S white right behind me so in a bit of a tricky spot here so if I'm assuming that they're on soft so I remember thinking well you know getting near lap 10 people are on soft so I'll begin to drop off a bit a bit too far away to go for a move just trying to get really good exits to uh, make passes and 
that wasn't one of them. Unfortunately, uh, because of the screen bottom right, you can't see me using my uh, boost button, um, but I'm using it. Um, like in the past, sporadically, I'm just pacing it out. So 20 laps, first five laps, I should not use any more than a quarter of the uh, boost. It's making a nice clean pass, pass um, from Gingerbread Man. Up to P7. So yeah, in in my mind, the the race is not over. Of course, um, made good ground, lost a bit, making it back. Just looking at the uh, the time between me and the leader, and the the time is like quite a bit. But just I'll have a look at it. Oh, there, yeah, be my key. P6 now. That's what I'm talking about. You know, uh, unless you're real good at using different cars with no traction control, unless you're 100% solid, I wouldn't be uh, relying on it because it's unreliable. Or the user is, I don't know. But with my traction control 2, active stability management on, and counter steer on strong, I'm glued to this track. I'm on rails. It's got three cars trying to trying to catch me, but they're the people I've passed, so fair chance I'm going to get away from them. Especially if they uh, try to challenge each other. P5 fried tyres. Five seconds. So I haven't really had a good look, but I think S White or Snow White um, was on mediums. And I think it was just him and me, everyone else. I don't know why they do it. Start the race on softs. You've got a full tank of fuel. Um, tires are going to wear down. And the first three laps you're only doing about the pace of a medium tire because of all the chaos. So why? You know, start the mediums. Let every amateur just knock each other out. And just walk them by, you know, saying thank you. And by the way, I'm, I'm on mediums, I'll be putting my softs on later. And you know, the guys up the front, you know, uh, will be battling away. And they're unaware of anyone's on mediums. And the reason why I say that is my second account I did um, straight after this. And same strategy, start from the back on mediums. And these. Eventually I got to uh, P3 and P1 and 2, P1 made a mistake and so P2 caught up with P1 and uh, I'm about 8 seconds behind them and they begin to battle each other and they're both on mediums and I'm just catching up, oh, sorry, softs, and I'm catching up hand over fist and uh, trying to work out, you know, uh, should I pit yet because... I didn't want to catch up too much. Um, I was hoping they'd pit, but they wouldn't. So eventually I pitted and undercut them and just ran away with it because they went on mediums and I was on softs. And you know, so they're so focused on each other they forget about everyone else in the race. P4, fried tyres, finally paid the price. Oh, and I think it was to do with this guy Martin in front, that's right. Pretty sure it's Martin. No. Yes, it is. I do get confused between my first and second account races. 
so this guy um, <coughs> Martin um, his his name seemed to ring a bell with another race that I'd done and I think it was Fuji As, yeah I just had an off feeling about this guy and then yeah he's just dive bomb fry tyres in that chicane and then fry tyres has quit and left left him a note basically and so even though I didn't have full knowledge of what's happened I've, I'm having a good guess at what's happened and even I'm catching this guy but I didn't want to get up right next to him because I thought well I'll probably end up copping the same but as you can see he's got a penalty how big is that penalty? I think it was half a second and you watch the move this guy to me is dirty I think he uh, punted me at Fuji that's right so you watch him move so he's paying his penalty, he's ghosting he just moves across now hmm, a bit odd so lap 10 I should be coming in but I looked at my tyres and my tyres are good so and my, my lap times are pretty good um, what, 32.4 so if I put softs on if I was to get a 1.7 I'd be pretty happy now it's not much different from a medium so I thought well I'll continue on for another lap or two um, just to uh, take the weight off the softs these uh, mediums are doing pretty good and it leaves people guessing you know, people at the front probably think that he's maybe I've already pitted and I'm now on tyres that are pretty worn especially people you're around and you're showing the pace of uh, a soft tyre I've had that before where people are coming up overtaking a lap later they're pitting and it's like my god they're on the, the hard or the medium you know pretty sure during the week the um, corner cutting penalty was pretty sensitive now either I've got it down pat or it's just not as sensitive because uh, yeah I'd be getting quite a few penalties and yet in this race nothing so far yeah doing another lap just pushing it again so we got the Giz or the GLS I think it's I keep calling him the Giz but I think Yeah, maybe it is the Giz. There's quite a few people now, and that's the other reason why I stayed out, I think. Um, I knew the pit stop was about 16 seconds, and there'd be quite a group of people behind me, and I thought, if I pit, I'm in the group or just behind them. Um, so I was kind of hoping other people would pit, and then I'd have a bit of room to uh, pit a lap later, considering my lap times are still pretty good now I've just done my fastest lap on worn mediums so here I'd oh, maybe next lap I'll talk about the uh, push to pass I don't know if anyone's aware but when uh, when the um, Fuji nations finished and this game opened up I'm usually quite keen and I hopped on on it to uh, practice, see what it's like, get a feel. And the race setup didn't allow for nitrous or overtake, um, which overtake is what this car has. So this car was not valid for the race. So here we go in the pits. This is about a 16 second stop. So anyone within 16 seconds of me should get past so the gears quite easily and then vanilla iceman I think gets past yep just 
and then a, a it looks like a fair gap behind me but that um, time does come down so I'm on fresh softs now and the top eight would have seen that they would have seen this guy's going on softs if they saw it late maybe they're thinking he's gone from soft to soft but usually a big yellow circle is a giveaway it's coming out in P5 and again the um, I that was the other rule I set myself um, don't don't use the um, push to pass while your medium tires are warming up and while your soft tires are warming up because um, they'll be cold so these tires will be a little bit slippery the first lap and a half now whether or not I did that because we can't see it um, so vanilla ice man it if I felt okay I may have used it to try and get within his slipstream and then luckily for me he's um, he's pitting on his medium so yeah he was he was on mediums as well I think going a touch too far So, seven second gap between me and the Giz. And then, one hell of a gap to uh, Kiwi Bretto and Theon, whatever his name is. I can't. A, I can't read it. B, I can't remember. And C, I probably couldn't pronounce it. Oh, Theon Grey Jory or Joy, Grey Joy, whatever, Junior, God. So anyway, uh, yeah, so pacing out the, the push to pass, softs are nice and healthy only two laps old now so they'll be nice and warm so about now I'd push just a push lift on the push to pass six gear push lift just to get the revs right up it's almost like imagine you're changing channel on the television remote control you know it's not an extended push but it's not a little tap I wouldn't use it around here occasionally if I had heaps of it and you know the laps are closing down I might use some but generally speaking no still to this day I see I look through the replay and there's probably two people not using a push to pass at all here I'll use it fourth lift fifth on lift you see I'm really pushing out the revs as well trying to chew down the fuel uh, I think it's car lights higher revs anyway so doesn't like short shifting and we've got heaps of fuel I think I have about two laps worth of fuel at the end of the race But I'm hunting down the gears. Uh, he's got mediums on. And I don't think he's... Let's say his um, assists aren't the same as mine. He might just have traction control. Maybe one. So looking at the replay, some of his, like this chicane coming, is a little bit um, unstable. So 3.1 seconds, it's really coming down. So three laps remaining now.
So yeah, the uh, the hunt is on. I've got a healthy gap behind me, 10, 10 seconds to that um, dirty driver Martin. Wasn't too bad in this race, but still there are signs like the dive bomb with fried tyres, the turning in as he's paying a penalty. They're the kind of moves I might do racing against AI um, in the emissions races, but not in FII against other people. So 1.7 seconds, and, I've, and I've, I just I could only assume a he's you know he's got the mediums on. I knew that, but I could only assume he's um, ran out of boost. Which, again, looking at the replay, he actually did have boost, but not not the same amount as me. Um, so I'd have under a quarter now, but he was, you know, getting near the end of his boost. So I think he was trying to preserve it. But he could see the time coming down. And um, he's an an A driver, I think it is. Maybe not. Maybe it's. I think Fried Tires is. Pretty sure he is an A driver. Um, I could be wrong again. But uh, yeah, if he is, I um, I was pretty happy with working, it, especially coming from the back. See, um, no signs of being dirty, but he's, I could see he's trying to be defensive, and, uh, and I thought, well, it can only defend for so long. There's, there's areas that he's slow, and I've got to work out, now that I'm close enough, work out where they are, where can I jump in, basically. I'm on softs. Um, there should be somewhere where I can outdo him, and I thought maybe here, with the uh, little instability he has. Still a bit too far away, just have to, you know, no, not now, wait for that moment. So. There's, you know, the three main straights, the so start, finish straight, and then there's a straight coming up after the um, two Lesmo corners, whatever they're called. So this one coming up here. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we're on it now. Yeah, this is where I thought I'm just using um, the boost at the moment. He just fingers crossed that he behaved himself in that braking zone, which he did. So now it's just time to A, just get a bit of room, and then B, try and break that slipstream, and then C, just try and pull away. So two laps remaining now. So it looks like that Martin has dropped back to P7. I can't remember exactly what happened to him, but karma. And again, Vanilla Iceman. Um, yeah, I thought it was him who was giving me a good whack. But I think it was actually Fry Tyres who um, was hitting him. Interestingly enough, it, when you look at the replay closely um, of Fry Tyres, Vanilla Iceman and myself, coming up to this corner, 
Vanilla Iceman gets hit by three fried tyres. He then hits me, causing me to get thrown forward, and then Vanilla Iceman to slow down. Then gets another hit by fried tyres, but he puts his foot down and absolutely pile drives me out into the gravel. And I thought, to me, it's almost as though I was saying, well, I can do anything now because the guy behind me is going to pay for it. Yeah, he had his accelerator full when he had the second hit. So, yeah, not 100% not sure he's 100% um, innocent. But anyway, final lap. The two guys in front are just well clear. So, um... Theon Greyjoy Jr. is what 28 seconds ahead and then uh, Kiwi Bretto 15 seconds so it's quite a gap between all three of us but I'm pretty sure they started P1 and P2 let's say and just ran away no trouble nice clear track whereas I've had to I'm making excuses. I had to get through everyone and put up with getting hit. So just slowly going through my um, brake balance, um, traction control. For the video of course, I'm thinking of the video. Always thinking of the viewers guys. Never myself, always the viewers. You guys are the number one. Without the viewers, this stream would be nothing. Yes, yeah, so pretty happy with that effort. Just unfortunate I um, didn't get to P1. Anyway, not to worry. P3 is still pretty good. So finishing third from 13th to third up 10 places that got me um, I think 98 points or something. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream guys um, and that you've learnt something, it's the main thing. Um, looking forward to seeing your streams and see you on the next one. Bye for now.